Hello, this is Brother Andrew. I'm going to show you how to create your first interaction in game using the Interaction Builder. All right, so when you launch the Interaction Builder, and if you log in, you will come first to a tab called My Saved Files. Now, if you're not logged in, you'll come to a tab called Instructions first. So on the Instructions tab, you can get to Tutorials and just see a quick overview of how to build your uh, interactions and games. And on the My Saved Files tab, you'll see all the interactions and games that you've saved. And from here, you can go back in and edit those or copy them. You can create notes or look at a revision history or just delete those files. All right, so to create your first, your first interaction, go up here to Interaction Editor. And then here you can scroll down and see all the different ones that are available. Over here on the left, for step one, you need to select an interaction. So I'm going to choose the Tabs category. And then as I mouse over each one of these, I can see a preview. I'm going to click on Create Now. You can see now that we're on step two, I can input the introduction text and then all the information for each one of the tabs. So if I click on the preview here, this is where the introduction text would go. And then you have all your text for the different tabs. So if I click on this one, I can put in a title for my tab or text on the tab and then the content that will appear when a user clicks on it. So here on the introduction, I can type whatever text I want here. And then I can you know, select that and here's all the different formatting options or I can add a hyperlink, things like that. And then down here you add your audio and an image if you want that on the introduction. Now for audio you can add mp3s and if in the end if you download this as an HTML5 version it will automatically create other formats of that audio for you. So you can click here and add audio and then you can click here and add an image. Now if you notice over here on the right it will give you the dimension sizes that are that are perfect for this particular interaction. So this one would be good at you know 413 wide by 250 high. However, it will also scale it for you. And then you can click on this and say, do you want it aligned to the top or the bottom? Then come down here on your tabs. This is where the the text on the tab would go. You know, so you can call this tab number one. Then down here, this is the text that will appear when they click on the tab. And again, you can add images and audio to each one of those tabs as well. All right, so after you've input all of your content, go down here to number three, which is select theme. And now you can theme this interaction. So you could come down here and let's say, let's use this one right here, click select on the Midas theme. Now if I preview it, notice all the button colors in the background have changed. You also have a different type of click alert, this little visual indicator that tells you whether or not you've clicked on that. Now there's lots of different themes to choose from. And you can also click customize theme. And then you could come in here and change your background, the buttons and the click alerts, choose from different types that we have, change your colors and things like that. All right. Now, once you're done with that, so you've got all your text, images and audio, you have the color scheme as you like it. Your next one down here is you can look at settings. So every different interaction and games, they all have different settings that you can choose from. You can turn off the clicking noises, some of the timers and things like that on the games. So you go ahead and check on the settings for each one of the, uh, the files that you're working on. So when you're done with that, you can click download, save the interaction if you want to. And then there's different types of downloads. So you can download a Flash version or an HTML5 version. So you can get Flash, ActionScript 2 or 3, or you can download an HTML5 version, which just would, would be a zip file of the, uh, the HTML5 files. Now, when you download the Flash version, it's a single SWF that you could then import into your e-learning authoring tool. And again, an HTML5 version would be a zip file that you could upload to a tool or put it on a website or in your LMS or something like that. All right, so if I go up here, let me just quickly look at the games. Again, you can choose from all these different games. You click Create Now, and it's the same concept. You come through here, add all your information, add the information for your question, and choose the question type, then put in your correct and incorrect answers, and also put in the different feedback for those. You can also turn on and off the questions. So if you want, you know, let's see, 10 questions, just go ahead and do that, and then do the theme, and then download that game when you're, when you're ready. All right, those are the basics of creating interactions. You can view the other tutorials for more advanced options.